Hi Fire Signs, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your Law of Attraction reading for March. I'm really apologetic about the timing. It's gone, they've gone up late. There's nothing I can do about it. So I'm just getting them up and out of the way now so that um, they're up there for you to see. Um, for those of you that are just finding the channel and just having a, a quick look at the Law of Attraction reading, um, it does tap into your energies. It does tap into um, how you're manifesting, what you're manifesting, what your resistance could be, the cleansing, the clearing you need to do. I do say it's not a tarot reading like you would get if you were looking for a love reading or you were looking for a career reading. Although there is things that we can tap into into this. This is about you this isn't about external things that affect you this is about how you can manifest and make your manifestation better and understand what it is that you what's the energy that's around you what you're resisting and what it is that you can make happiness within that can help you with your manifestation journey so darlings we're going to start with the energy card and you have got Number 12, Frigga, readiness, bounty and plenty. You are so ready for manifestation. You are so ready to start receiving. Um, when you look at the manifestations, it is ask, believe and receive. So I'm getting that your current thoughts is that you're manifesting you're manifesting bounty, you're manifesting plenty, and that's absolutely fine. And look at this card, Fire Signs. You can get a better card for Fire Signs. Look how flame red her hair is. She's beautiful. So that's the energy that is surrounding you. We'll do the other cards in turn. Manifestation, make a wish, manifest, speak, or write what you want, ask, believe, and receive. You have the number 14, and patience. Darlings, I know fire signs aren't very patient. So I, I know that you've got a passion and a desire to get the job done. Um, but you need to exercise patience. Your manifestations do appear to be really good. And for those of you that aren't even doing man or you don't think you're doing manifestations, I think you are doing manifestations and it, they are happening. Um, but you just haven't got the terminology. I didn't have the terminology and I got the same um feeling for the air signs the other day that it's it's terminology so is it a wish is it a dream is it a pipe dream is it a manifestation is it law of attraction it's terminology my darling so just have a bit of patience when you start on the journey of manifesting start on the journey of the law of attraction um it will pay dividends to you it will don't get lost in your ego fire signs because you know you can. So darlings, you're scribing, you're storytelling, you're authoring. Be your own author. Tell your story as if it's happened and give it feeling and emotion. You're the queen of air. There is um, an air of honesty that is needed around you. Um, I'm kind of thinking that you may be skirting around what it is that you really want, what it is that you really want to call into you. And when you're writing it down, I don't know if there's a fear there that maybe somebody else will read it. Um, get yourself a lockable book. Get yourself a book that you can put away somewhere or that something you can carry around with you. Put it in your phone and put it under um, a password protected, whatever it is. Just know that there needs to be some honesty around this. The Queen of Air, male or female, she is highly intelligent, highly intuitive, got a lot of knowledge and wisdom, um, but she does ask people to stand in their integrity and their truth. She also asks people to think things over. So before you start writing, have a think to yourself what it is that you want and how you can write it down and put feeling towards it. So if you're manifesting a car or a house, somebody has met you with the car or at the house and they've handed you the keys, you've unlocked it and you've slid into the car 
and you've turned it over, what does that feeling give you? When you unlock the house keys and you step into that house and the realisation that that is your house, what is the feeling that that gives you? You know, are you excited? Are you feeling um, secure and safe because it's yours? So that's the emotions and feelings that you need to put in there. But be honest about it. You know, it's all very well being a gushy fire sign. But you really do need to be much more honest. Use your knowledge and your wisdom about what it is that you need to write down in this story now when you're writing this story you don't write the story as if it hasn't happened you don't go oh i would like and all the rest of it you write it i have just been given the keys to my car whatever the car is i've just sat in the seat and i've turned it over and one of the biggest manifestations around cars is when you're in your car and you're driving along imagine you are driving your dream car. Just imagine it. That it's already there. It's already with you. It is part of your life. Your dream house. Imagine you are already living in that dream house. So that is your manifestation and your storytelling. Now I'm going to skip the resistance for a minute. Because I want to get the top row done. So we've got the cleansing and clearing. Make way for the new. Um, by getting rid of old debris and old data, you have the two of fire. Darling, you're on a bit of a quest. You're out looking for something. Um, you've got this illuminated lantern just in front of you. And you're kind of like looking. You There's a question that you want answered. Um, and maybe there's not an answer to it. So when you're looking at the two of fire, just know... Um, like the giraffe this could be a bit of a toll order so whatever the question is whatever it is you're questing write it down write it down and write down why you need to quest this why are you questioning this what is the purpose of that and then work from there and if there is no real purpose to the question have done with it let it go because that is a point of cleansing and clearing if you have got an absolute definitive question that you want answered, maybe something's happened in the past, maybe something's happening around you now, um, and it's caused you to question a lot of things around you, where your passion, your desire is, your projects, your plans, your people. Um, if that's the case, you need to be questioning where you are as well. Where do you fit into that? theatre play because we all have a part to play in what is happening around us what is your part in that so if you have accepted something from somebody and it's gone a bit tits up um just know that you need to question your part in it what part did you play in it did you enable this person did they enable you just all of those questions so once you've answered those questions clear them out of the way it is not important anymore if it's something spiritual that you are questing in your cleansing and clearing the easiest way to do this questing around a spiritual issue is to meditate and you don't have to sit on the floor i had this conversation with somebody today you don't have to sit on the floor cross-legged you do not have to sit and listen to one type of music all types of music work. Um, if you can just get lost in music, you can meditate. If you can get lost in your thoughts on a walk, you can meditate. If you meditate in the shower in the morning, I do it in the mornings. I find it's easy, it's peaceful. And I find that my shower also helps me cleanse and clear away things that are no longer serving me. I just watch them go down the drain. So when you're cleansing and clearing, know that your cleansing and clearing helps you to stop self-limiting. It helps stop restriction around yourself. Clean away negativity and doubt. Now, when I say that, we're all human. We're going to have negative thoughts at times. But it's then 
understanding where that negative thought has come from and why you've had it and then laying it to rest and even turning the negative into a positive. And when you're cleansing and clearing, one of the biggest things that you can do is say sorry to yourself. Sorry for the part you played. Sorry that, um, that you put yourself in a position where you've got to cleanse and clear something out of the way. But you need to forgive yourself as well. If there has been some issues around that um, cause a ruckus and you are willing, honestly, to open up and own your part to play in it, you then need to forgive yourself for that part you played in it. And that will clear things out of the way. And you, do you know you only have to do a little bit of cleansing and clearing for new growth to come in? You don't have to do a massive load. You don't have to clear a whole deck to allow new growth. You can see even the smallest of seedlings start to take shape if you just give a little bit of room to grow. It's as simple as that. So, darlings, we're going on to listening to inspiration and how to action them. Believe you can get your dreams. Believe in your dreams. Believe in you. Now take action. You can do this. Now, my lovely fire signs, you have got the eight of earth. This is my master's card. You are a master craftsman. You are a master musician. Whatever it is you do, you are the master of your trade. Um, you've been through the apprenticeship. You've been through the um, craftsman where there was hard work and toil taking place. You are now sitting comfortably and reaping the rewards of being the craftsman of your trade. So how did you get there? So when they drop inspiration into us, it can be a word. It can be seeing something on the telly. Oh, I'd like to do that. Or you could be reading something in a book. Oh, I wonder if that's possible. Um, whatever it is that you think is a good idea is an inspiration. It's a way forward. So how do you action it? Um, for my way of thinking, if you're manifesting and you are getting inspiration, the way to action any idea is firstly, write it down. Don't lose the um, essence of what it is that you just heard, read, saw, whatever gave you that. Oh, that could work. Write it down. Your next port of call will be to not only write it down but then do some research about it write down the pigeon steps that you need to do first of all go out on the internet do some research are other people doing this has other people had this idea whereabouts are they with it and if there isn't anybody then you need to get down to brass tacks and start thinking to yourself okay i need a plan of action plan of action see all of this is actioning now for a long the longest time i was saying the universe likes fast action it does your fast action is writing that idea down then the rest of it can take its sweet merry time because i've proved time and time again that if i write the things down straight away and i haven't got time to then look at it it's okay to go back to it it's okay to go back to it because once you've triggered that by writing it down, the universe knows you're interested in it. And the next time you pick it up and you write it down again and you are writing it into the computer, you are looking at different ways of um, investigating what it is that you've give, had the idea for. Um, the universe likes all of that. It likes to have the positivity and the action and the partnership with you to make this dream, this manifestation happen for you. So inspiration is absolutely key when you're hearing it, seeing it, watching it, whatever it is you're doing, do something about it. Do something about it. Um, intention is also key around that. Is also key. I've been taken back to the two of fire in your cleansing and clearing. I just... um. I just saw a flash of um, the need for you to use fire to cleanse and clear, not 
literally i mean metaphorically um like a forest when a forest burns down and then a few weeks later you see these beautiful seedlings just bursting up through the ashes almost like a phoenix and there's new growth there that's exactly what we're talking about so if you're talking about cleansing and clearing um with fire and you you want to you want to do a cleansing and clearing with a flame a candle please be careful when you do that i usually advocate when you're doing cleansing and clearing to use water um, because it's much safer than it is to use fire but if fire is something that you want to use in a safe manner if you want to cleanse and clear something that's negative and you're not quite sure how to do it you can write it down you can write down what the negative is what your understanding of that negativity is where it came from who first said it why you accepted it as a thing write it down and then burn that piece of paper either in a hearth or outside do not just do it in a paper in a plate or whatever just don't do that take it outside do it outside and then the ashes i want you to either let them go in the wind or chuck them in some body of water that can carry them away so i don't know why that popped into my head i've got no idea it must be somebody specific that is kind of thinking can i um get rid of negativity through this form of cleansing yes you can absolutely just let's not have any accidents while doing it so darlings we're going to move on to i love you loving you first so i love you the three most powerful words in the world say them often start with you and then let the love flow to others and yes it's in your head is fine You've got the messenger of water. There is some understanding needed around the I love you. And what I tell people is you have to start with yourself. You can't fall in love with people and expect it to work if you don't love yourself first. If you doubt yourself, you doubt your partner, you doubt what you've got between you. Um, there's just a lot of doubt around so what you need to do these little exercises i give people is to go to the mirror and find something that you like about yourself it doesn't matter it can be your hair it could be your eyes your nose your mouth um your chin um the shape of your body it doesn't matter just one thing that you like about yourself i had a friend that i was working with a couple of weeks ago and she identified that the thing that she liked about herself the most was her fingernails go figure she has got beautiful fingernails and they are natural. Um, so she started to look at her hands and she started to think, I really love my hands. And then she started to think, I really love my arms and my shoulders. And she just moved on and moved on and moved on until she convinced herself that she actually, she really liked herself and she really loved herself enough to be respectful of self and to honour herself. And that's what it's all about. And as you do all of that, as you work through that and you're saying to yourself, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Just get that pattern going because as you are doing that, your light changes, your aura changes. And then you are able to allow the leftover residue of all of that good feeling you've got about yourself just flows out to other people it flows out into the world into the universe it heals the planet it heals other people and it lets our light shine and the universe likes that it likes the fact that people can tune into themselves and actually find out they like themselves you don't need affirmations from other people you don't need to be told by other people that your value and your worth the only person that needs to confirm that for you is you literally and there you have it another um i was gonna say honesty card but i've just heard the word frankness you've got to be frank with yourself Offer yourself 
And I'm going to say this, Aries, offer yourself an apology for whatever it is that's dragged you down, ailed you, it doesn't matter. Offer yourself an apology. Because if you do that and you move that room to cleanse and clear just that little bit, this being frank with yourself will grow. And if there's a part of you that you really don't like, do something about it. Do something about it. You know, and this, when we're doing this, this loving of self, it's not just one aspect of ourselves, it's all aspects. So it's physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, sensual, all of those nice bits. Be frank with yourself about how you love yourself, what you love about yourself, and work on it from there. So your gratitude card, darlings. Be thankful for everything from the smallest thing to the largest blessing. The attitude of gratitude is a great place to be. And look what you've got in your gratitude. You've got love. You've got love. Your companion, the lion, is allowing you to cuddle up and be warm. Um, there's a lot of knowledge and wisdom here. There's a lot of love here. Um, the exchange of love around gratitude is huge. It is huge because if you don't love yourself, you're never going to see the world for what it's worth. You're never going to understand um, that being grateful starts at first thing in the morning. From the moment you open your eyes, be grateful you woke up. Loads of people didn't. People that had plans for today didn't wake up this morning. They didn't. So that's where you start. You start being grateful for that. And, you know, gratitude spills out if you are grateful for the little things being grateful for the big things just follows naturally so when you're going into a shop and you're seeing somebody and they're serving you think about what it is that they're serving you what was it you wanted what was it you needed and that person has served you they've served you well they've taken your money they've put it in the cash register now wish them a, a really good day don't be grumpy with them don't be Oh, well, they're just a store assistant. That's awful. Just be grateful they're there because the option of them not being there is closed shops. It's closed shops. They are in service to other people because they care enough to be in service to other people. So just know that when you're being grateful, it's for everything. Being grateful for everything. From the tiniest creature to the biggest building. Doesn't matter. Just get into the throes of being grateful. And let me tell you. The love of self will just start to shine through. It will. And I think this is the frankness that you needed to hear. That perhaps you're not as grateful um, as you could be. Um, perhaps you take things for granted. And we all do. I'm not having a pop at the fireside at all. We all take things for granted. Um, it's only when we become aware that we should be grateful. It's only when we start getting things and that we start thinking, hold on a second, somebody's giving me a hand here. It's like when I got my car. I, there was nobody more gobsmacked than me about my car. And every time I open that gate and I see her sitting on the driveway, I am just blown away that she's mine that i own her um she's one of my biggest manifestations i have to say um and people know when i'm i'm leaving her in the car parks i'd rather wrap her up in cotton wool and take her indoors with me because i always look back to her. if you don't look back at something if you don't look back at your house if you don't look back at your car if you don't look back at the person that you love are they really what you want is it the right decision to have that i don't know i don't think so so a number six card also for me darling is something precious it's something precious, something to hold on to. This is love of self. This is knowing your knowledge and your wisdom about you. So you've got two beautiful cards here. Um, the love card, the gratitude card, and they've almost swapped over. And you need to be frank in order for yourself to be grateful that you are able to love yourself completely. 
without restriction. So we're, I'm going to do the middle bit at the end. So affirmation, talk about you and your life and what you want in positive terms. Stop saying, but if, can't, won't and maybes. They cancel your dreams. You have number 20 and the call. You are calling something in or somebody in. You could be being called. Now, this could be a spiritual card or you could be physically being called in by somebody else's manifestation. You could be getting visits from somebody else who is walking through your dreams, who is on your mind constantly. What I'm going to say to you is affirmations is be kind to you. If you don't want this connection, dismiss it, get rid of it. Just have done with it. Cleanse and clear it out of the way. But if you're calling something or somebody in, know that other people have got the right to say no as well. Affirmation for you, my darlings. You've got the number 20, which breaks down to a two, which tells me that you would love to be in a partnership. There's, you, you function better in a partnership. So your affirmation around you, your the being kind to you bit, the bit where you're talking in positive terms, and we're all negative, we're all human, but around your affirmation, you do need it to be positive. And just say to yourself, as I call something or somebody else in, I am aware that I have the choice as they have the choice to connect or not to connect. If you're stuck for affirmations, get on the internet. There's thousands of them out there. Have a look. But I do get that this call is big for you. It's almost like you need that confirmation from this other person that you are everything somebody needs, everything somebody wants. Darlings, the only person that needs to confirm that for you is you. That you are being the best that you could possibly be. That you are giving life, the universe, the planet, your absolute all. Mm. Destiny, create the one you want. Hanged man. Perspective. Blessings to look forward to. Something's going to change your mind. Something's going to make you see something that you've been looking at in negative terms for such a long time that you are, it's going to, it's going to turn your world upside down. Look at that. It's going to turn your world upside down. There is a destiny here that you've had one way of believing stuff and all of a sudden something's going to come in and it's going to say, perspective and it is literally going to turn your world upside down so we're going to go down the middle remember frigga readiness bounty and plenty that's what you i'm assuming you are manifesting and if you're not aware that you are manifesting that is what you've been asking for now when you're saying bounty and plenty keep in mind that that doesn't have to be money it doesn't have to be material goods it can be spiritual it can be emotional it can be mental so just keep that in mind when you are thinking about what it is that you are manifesting now your resistance what is blocking your manifesting and your wishes you have the weaver number 25 fate destiny and weird um i'm kind of getting that you're Worried that other people are going to find out about what you're doing. Sodom. Why should you worry about what it is that you're practicing and then worry about what other people are going to think about it? When it comes to fate, I'm a great believer in fate. I think we stumble across things. We come across things. We find things. Um, whether they're with us for a small amount of time or a long, long amount of time. No that 
fate and destiny go hand in hand you've got your destiny card there it's changing it's changing because your perspective is changing you may feel a bit weird about how it is that you think about fate and destiny because you may not have had any um thoughts about it you may not have had any beliefs about it but all of a sudden you are kind of like believing in things that maybe other people around you wouldn't actually believe in so darling is your resistance the weaver know that your resistance is is that you feel that you may even feel a bit weird actually but fate and destiny has brought you this far don't let fate and destiny be your resistance don't allow yourself to disbelieve that fate is out there because it is out there and don't disbelieve that destiny is out there because that is also out there you know before we come here we ask people to do certain things with us walk through life with us cross paths with us do all of those things to make the human condition more interesting as we're walking through this life i'm getting that that is your resistance you are just like what the hell does this all mean what does it all mean but your perspective is going to change around this so happiness with in card oh look at this bliss contentment satisfaction and security darlings be your own contentment be your own satisfaction and be your own security if you are in love with yourself if you love yourself enough to respect yourself if you love yourself enough to give yourself affirmations and work with yourself then you will get contented you will see satisfaction in lots of different things gratitude will bring the satisfaction on for you and the security that will offer you is this if somebody or something comes into your life and you are happy with yourself you are loving yourself absolutely 100 percent. you are grateful for everything that comes your way including life's lessons if that does not stay with you, if the person does not stay with you and if the event that's happening does not stay with you, know that nobody can take away your love, your contentment, your compassion, um, what it is you feel for yourself. They can't have that away from you. So know that if you are practicing all of these things, they can never be taken from you. So you will never experience heartbreak again you'll experience sadness that that person's passed on but you'll do cleansing and clearing to clear out the debris so that you can move on as well i'm getting that these are the three most important cards in this deck for you this is your happiness within understand so number six as well understand darlings that when you've got happiness within nobody can steal that from you happiness doesn't come from other people you can be happy for a moment with another person or moments but true happiness comes from within you can you can put it out there into the universe i will be happier and i will love myself more when i've got my house and when you get your house you're then going to be telling the universe, well, when I've got a bigger house, I'll be more content. Do you see what I mean? So the trick is to be grateful and content and happy for everything you've got in this very moment. And everything else will just follow. It will just flow fire signs. Darlings, I hope this was of some help to you. Wherever you are in the world, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.